Hello everyone, Freedy here here, and welcome to today's weekly reset, where we'll be covering this week's events and limited bounties for the 16th of March till the 22nd of March. Firstly, let's go over this week's limited bounties. We have the following. Hunt 3 Great Jagras, Slay 5 Bird Wyverns, and Slay 5 Elder Dragons. Doing all this, you'll be rewarded with a Golden Egg, Gold Wyvern Print, and a General Armor Spear, plus Silver Wyvern Prints. So first event we have is a Yaku with that event quest, which has you taking on both Kulu Yaku and Tazi Yaku within the arena. This is a 6 star quest which is quite easy to complete in a short amount of time and an ideal place to farm monster parts if you need a crafted part for some weapons or gear in game. Next up we have the Rolling with the Eurogan event quest, where you will be put up against 2 Eurogans in the Elder Rhesus. This is a 7 star quest and is relatively easy to complete if you are either in a group or on your own depending on the gear you have to fight with them. As your gun has a habit to move around a lot, I recommend you either use long range weapons to keep a distance from them and pick them off with ease, or use a lance plus gun lance to bait them in and attacking you, and then counter them with immediate effect. This event also rewards you with a lot of armor spears for upgrading your armor, so if you're ever low on spears and you need a quick way to grind them, then this is an event for you, but do remember, this event doesn't last for long, so make good use of it. Next up, we have the Keep of the Otherworld event quest which puts you up against Xeno in the Confluence of Fates area. This is a 9 star quest where all you have to do is slay Xeno you know, and collect your rewards. Pretty simple and straightforward and an ideal place to gather more of his parts for crafting, rather than wait for him to become optional over time. And lastly, our weekly challenge quest in the arena puts us up against a Tobidachi and a Paolumo. This is a 4 star quest and it will be slightly hard to take on as the gathering hall arena is scaled to 2 players rather than 1, so the monster's health will be increased further on. If you're going to do this solo, then I recommend you let the two monsters fight each other so they can weaken themselves and then move in for the kill. Except from that, once you complete the quest, you'll be rewarded with the selected coins and a few item pouch items. And that everyone is the end of that. I hope the video provided the information you need to know more about the events and what they may hold for you. If you enjoyed the video, then a like and a sub would be appreciated. If not, then leave a dislike, I'll go with the video to see what I need to improve on in the near future. But once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.